The serpent A1 gene is transcribed and exported from the nucleus, and the messenger RNA binds to a ribosome. The ribosome attaches to the ER membrane and feeds the translated protein into the lumen. At the same time, the glycan core is assembled separately on a molecule of dolichyl phosphate embedded in the ER membrane. Importantly though, this occurs on the cytosolic side of the ER. First, the enzyme glucnac one phosphotransferase transfers a molecule of N-acetylglucosamine, or glucnac, to the dolichyl phosphate. Then another glucnac is added to the first. In the next step, a series of three different mannosyl transferases attach five mannose residues to the growing core. At this point, an enzyme appropriately named flipase flips the entire glycan structure into the lumen of the ER, and another set of mannosyl transferases attaches four more mannose residues for a total of nine. Finally, glucosyl transferases attach a set of three glucose molecules to the structure. An oligosaccharyl transferase transfers the completed 14 sugar core to an asparagine residue on the alpha-1 antitrypsin polypeptide. ER glucosidases 1 and 2 remove the first two glucose residues, which causes the chaperone proteins calnexin and calreticulin to bind to the nascent protein. These chaperones help make sure the protein folds correctly. If there is a problem, the chaperones disengage, and another enzyme, UDP glucose glycoprotein glucosyl transferase, or just UGGT, reattaches a glucose molecule. This is a signal for the chaperones to try again. But if the protein repeatedly fails to pass this quality control check, the glucose molecules are never removed. The presence of these glucose residues blocks the protein from leaving the ER and triggers its destruction through the ER-associated degradation pathway. On the other hand, if the protein is folded correctly, ER glucosidase 2 removes the final glucose, allowing the protein to be loaded into COPE1-coated vesicles. The vesicle is transported by motor proteins to the Golgi apparatus, where it docks and releases the immature protein into the cis-Golgi network. In the cis-Golgi compartment, any remaining glucose residues are removed, then mannositis 1 and 2 remove 4 of the mannose residues. Next, N-acetylglucosaminal transferase 1 attaches a glucnac residue, and the maturing protein is transported to the next compartment. In the medial Golgi compartment, mannositis 2 trims two more mannose residues, and n acetylglucose aminal transferase 2 adds a second glucnac residue. Then galactosyl transferase adds galactose residues onto the terminal glucnac residues, and the protein moves to the trans Golgi compartment. Sialyl transferases attach sialic acid onto the galactose residues, which helps to stabilize the structure and improve its half life in circulation. Finally, fucosyl transferase adds a fucose residue to the core glucnac. Fucosylation plays an important role in cellular adhesion and modulation of the immune response, and is often elevated in cancer. The mature glycoprotein is sorted and packaged into secretory vesicles, which bud off from the Golgi and merge with the cell membrane, releasing alpha-1 antitrypsin into the circulation, where it eventually reaches the lungs.